Hello guys, this video I would like to explain how failsafe works because if you look at the parameters in the failsafe tab in the beta flight and there are many parameters that I get confused in the first place what do I have to set? how does it uh, work together and, and I don't know where to start okay so before I start explaining using the PowerPoint because it's easier to understand please consider supporting me via the affiliate links below in the video description there are many shops that is related to FPV like the get FPV or Insta360 if you want to buy some Insta360 one R camera then please consider visit the affiliate links in my video description okay let's start what is failsafe for i would like to point out because uh, so many guys um, think that failsafe is for land the aircraft more safely but it's not it's for the safety of other people buildings animals okay let's move on there are two types of failsafe the first one is the receiver failsafe and the second one is the failsafe that you have set in your flight controller and in this video i explain about the failsafe in flight controller not the receiver failsafe okay and in my experience once i set both failsafe in receiver and also in the flight controller when i test the failsafe the failsafe in the receiver take over and the failsafe in the flight controller is just meaningless okay so in my recommendation i i suggest that you choose only one type of failsafe once at a time okay you're gonna understand how it works first here are the steps that the failsafe happen i call it failsafe procedure first yes of course you're gonna lose the, the controlling signal but it might be a temporary loss or a permanently lost we are not sure yet at this step however the quadcopter will enter into stage one which it will use the fallback setting during the stage one i will explain more about fallback setting later just remember that stage one the quadcopter will act like what you set in fallback setting okay and stage one had it has its time period which you can set how long it's gonna be too and during this time period if the controlling signal returns then you can regain the control and everything resume normal but it is recommended that you should land your aircraft to inspect what happened what caused the signal lost okay but if uh, the signal is not returned and the stage one time is out then the quadcopter failsafe will and the fire controller failsafe will enter into stage two but hold on there is another protection here which is called failsafe throttle low delay it simply means how long your throttle is at zero percent after the signal is lost okay if your throttle is at zero percent longer than this time period and it will not enter into stage 2 the quad the quadcopter will just simply disarm and fall off the sky okay that's it the the extra protection here if this failsafe total low delay is not the case and the stage one time is out then the failsafe will enter into stage two and there are three options for stage two the first one is crash which is simply disarm the quad the second one is land but it's not an auto land function i repeat it's not an auto land function but it is called land option okay and the third one is the gps rescue option for the quadcopter that has a uh, gps installed into it okay these are the steps that the failsafe do to your quad when you lost the controlling signal okay so i will dig down into each step and how does it relate to the parameter you see in the failsafe page okay the first one the signal lost how do how does the flight controller know whether the signal is lost or not it's considered by this valid pulse range settings here and there are minimum length and maximum length if the value of any channel is within this range then the that channel is considered normal 
if any of your channel has the value exceed outside this range then that channel is considered uh, signal lost okay that's just simply as that and normally the throttle roll pitch and yaw is 1000 to 2000 and the value of auxiliary channel is 920 to 2100 okay and do not the default value is fine you don't need to change the default value okay next thing next step is the stage one which the quadcopter will use fallback setting you can set the fallback setting here in this box channel fallback setting okay and uh, i would like to show you the real page in the beta fly because it's more it's easier to comprehend here you have uh, all the channels you got on your quad cutter and for roll pitch yaw and throttle there are three options which is which are auto hold and set right hold auto hold and set for throttle but for auxiliary channel there are only two options hold and set okay and the auxiliary channel that you have set a mode or modes into it it will display here and it will has a tag of the mode here okay like in here i set arm mode in the auxiliary one and i set many modes into my auxiliary two okay that is how this looks like in the real uh, bit of flight page so let let's return to the powerpoint and the auto means that that channel will return to its neutral position for roll pitch and yaw for roll pitch and yaw only only if you set roll pitch or yaw to auto it will return to zero which means no yaw input no roll input no pitch input after the signal is lost and for throttle if you set it to auto it means that the throttle will be zero percent when the signal is lost during the stage one period okay for hole it means that the the value of that channel will hold will maintain the last assigned value before the signal is lost for example if you set your throttle to hold and uh, after, before you are before the controlling signal is lost you increase the throttle to 100 percent and then the signal is lost and you set the throttle to hold during stage one the throttle will maintain 100 percent for the time period of the stage one okay got that and the set means that uh, that channel will set the value according whatever you have set manually and for example here in this uh, picture the throttle i set it to set option and i can select whatever value the throttle is gonna be during the stage one okay that is the meaning of the set here and next box is fail safe switch because you can set fail safe on a switch too you can flip a switch to activate or deactivate the fail safe manually and you can choose uh, one of three options here which are stage one stage two or kill uh, it means that if you flip the switch it will enter into stage one or it will skip the stage one and enter into stage two directly or just simply disarm the quad which is the, the which is the kill option okay that is the meaning of this box but if you do not set a fail the fail safe on a switch then this box is meaningless okay next step is the stage one time period um i missed that powerpoint okay it should be time okay the stage one time period uh you can set the stage one time period in this line got time for stage two activation after signals lost these long names is confusing i i would like it to be called like stage one time period it's easier to understand right i don't know about you but it's uh, easier for me if it's just simply called stage one time period uh, rather than got time for stage two activation after signal lost okay and the parameter is in point one decimal if you enter 10 it means one second if you enter 100 it means 10 seconds okay 
and this is the time period of stage one okay and the second line here is fail safe throttle low delay this is the time period of the extra protection i talked about earlier uh, it's the duration that the the throttle is at zero percent you can set that time period here for your extra protection okay let's move on to the next box uh, next step uh, stage two step and you can set the stage two in under this uh, area here under the topic stage two fail safe procedure yeah and the drop option is just you can choose drop land or gps rescue and the drop option option is just drop your aircraft just cut the motor nothing spin just drop and the land option and if you see here the the picture is is confusing it's misleading and because the land option you can only uh, set the value of the throttle and set the time period of that throttle value and just that but uh, in practical this parameter cannot bring your aircraft land safely whatever in any case because you you will never know when fail safe will happen and you will never know how high the quadcopter is gonna be when the fail safe happen so you cannot set the value of throttle and the time period that perfectly bring your aircraft to land safely without any damage so it's not a landing it's just a, i don't know uh, i would i would rather set this parameter to like uh, a short period of time like one second two second three second and then cut the motor because it is more dangerous if you set this uh, time period too long like for example 10 seconds if you set the time period during the land option for 10 seconds and your aircraft reach the ground at the third second your motors will keep spinning for another seven seconds before it's gonna stop so imagine if there are children around your aircraft your crash site and the children is suspicious what is your quadcopter and they try to grab the quadcopter after it's crash but the motors are spinning because you have set the 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 time period here for too long Okay, that's a dangerous uh, scenario. So let's move on to another option, which is GPS rescue. Uh, GPS rescue in for FPV quadcopter, which which uh, doesn't has the other land function. It's not a return to home, and safely landing is not like that. The point of GPS rescue is just to bring the quadcopter closer to the home point for higher chance to regain the controlling signal that's the main part of GPS rescue okay don't don't misleading by the picture here too it's not return to home and safely land not like that okay the parameter here is I will I will explain some of it because some of them is already explained itself so the angle is the max angle of roll pitch uh, roll and pitch only. The initial altitude is the altitude where the GPS rescue will start and it is gonna be this initial altitude or the maximum altitude during the flight plus 15 meters if the max altitude is higher than the, the initial altitude you set here okay there are two cases here and then the descent distance is the, is the distance from home point where the quadcopter will start descend on the return leg to home point the ground speed is uh, the distance traveled on the ground uh, comparing to the time if you understand what ground speed is then i don't have to explain any longer so the throttle minimum maximum and throttle hover i don't have to explain about it and the minimum satellites used in gps rescue uh, will only works when the sanity checks are on okay the minimum satellites will only work if you check the sanity checks on and sanity checks is uh, the check whether your quadcopter is ready to perform re uh, gps rescue or not if the checks determine that the quadcopter is not ready to perform gps rescue the quadcopter will just 
be disarmed and fall off the sky okay so the options for sanity checks are on off or fail safe only you may wonder what sanity checks does to your quadcopter it will check uh, for example whether the flight controller is connected to gps normally or not whether the quadcopter has uh, abnormal uh, vibration or not whether the minimum satellite required is reached or not that you had set in this minimum satellite option yeah stuff like that and if it's valid if all that valid then the gps rescue can start if not then it will disarm the quadcopter so for fail safe only option it means that because uh it's it is there because uh, the GPS rescue can be activated by a switch tool. And there are some other parameters here for beta flight 4.2. There are ascent rate, descent rate during the GPS rescue, and alarm arming without fix, which means that um, if you don't want to wait for GPS to capture the satellites and want to start flying right away when you plug in the battery you just check this mark but uh but then the gps rescue will not be available if the satellite is not acquired okay and there's a ma maximum altitude fixed altitude and current altitude during the gps rescue mode maximum altitude should maximum altitude should be the maximum altitude during the flight the fixed altitude should be the initial altitude set here and the current altitude is the current altitude where the failsafe happened and suddenly it checks on all failsafe fully okay and that should be it i hope that you understand the failsafe and can apply it to your quadcopter so see you next video bye bye